I'm Annabelle Williams. It's my pleasure to be here today at ACM. Now, I'm, I was the world's worst lyric learner. I, I, I just, my memory's rubbish, my concentration's rubbish. If you're naturally like me, you can, you can improve anything that you do. You can improve, you know, if, if you go, oh, I'm really rubbish at, at learning lyrics. Well, if you constantly say that, you always will be. Whereas actually you get better and better at it. When I was at college, actually, I had this sort of three-day rule that I sort of invented, which was on day one, like, you sit there and you learn the song. So you go, listen to the song all the way through. And then, so you get a feel for it, what it's about. And then you listen to the first line, pause. Sing it back. Uh, sing it back. And then rewind it. And then sing along. And then rewind it. And then listen again, make sure you've got it and then go on to the next line. First line, second line, do exactly the same thing. First line, second line, third line. Listen to, verse, listen to line one, two and three. Listen to it back, play it again, sing along with it. Listen to it back, sing along with it. Play, rewind it and just, it sounds really long-winded, that whole process will take about 30 seconds. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, off you go. Then you've got the first verse, pre-chorus two lines or whatever, or four lines, do the same thing. Get to your chorus. By the time you've got to your chorus, you've basically done half a song, because that chorus is gonna take up a lot of the time later on. So this whole process, say you spend 45 minutes on learning this song, right? After that time, when your brain starts to get a bit full, stop, leave it there. Maybe do it again that night. Now by that evening, I'll have completely forgotten it. So you do it all over again. The next day, you do the same thing, spend half an hour on it. And then by the third day, I would wake up singing it, I'd have it, you know? So if you've got to learn a song for a class or for a gig or whatever, that's, how, that's the way to do it. If you've got a, a bunch of songs to, to learn, if you've got 10 songs or whatever, just be as prepared as you can, start learning as early on as you can, because the more time you have, the less stressed you're gonna be. The more stressed you are, the less you're gonna cram in. Don't cram learn. But sometimes we have to cram learn, you know? Oh, a backing singer's just pulled out of a tour. Can you, can you come on the road tomorrow? You've got 18 songs to learn. Yes, I can. And you stay up all night learning them, you know, because you want the job. Um, and then I think after that, learn it, learn it off the original. And then YouTube, YouTube loads of different versions and just get things that you like. You know, you might, it might be like an old standard or something by Ella Fitzgerald. And then Christina Aguilera might have covered it, you know. So you might like little bits that Christina's done. But then, or it might be, a, might be a really modern song that actually is taken from an old song. You know, you all know that song. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. That's Etta James. You know, and, it, uh, and a lot of these modern songs are actually taken from old songs and people just don't realize it. So research, research, listen, watch YouTubes, go to gigs, get, just absorb as, as much as you can and listen and watch as much as you can.